Well, hi everybody, it is Johnny, and I got some happy mail. This is from a sweet Sherry, Sherry Wolf, and it was, um, I got it a couple days ago, but due to the flood downstairs, I have been unable to do a video, and I am certainly hoping I can get this video up on YouTube. I did throw away the box that it came in. Um, but I haven't opened anything up, although this, um, was in the box. So, let me open the card first from Miss Sherry. You know, she makes a cute, oh, how cute! She is a wonderful card maker. I am not a card maker in any way, shape, or form, but, um, she certainly is, and she always does such a cute job. I adore this card. Can you see how cute? And she has put me a little note, which is private. But this, look at the inside of the envelope even. So cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am going to open up this. Feels like candy. <laughs> it just feels like chocolate. I could be wrong. It just has that feeling. Let's see. Hmm. And <laughs> it's wrapped again. <laughs> so, I think it's chocolate. It just feels, look at how she's got this sealed. How did she, that's like a crimper. All right, I'm going to have to rip it. <laughs> yes. Yum. A huge Hershey bar. She heard me. I love Hershey Kisses and Hershey Bars. And I have a big one all for me. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. You did not have to send me anything and I was really happily surprised. So, this one doesn't feel like chocolate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cool. Okay, before I open this, I wanted to open this. This was what came clinking out of the box. And can you believe these? My gosh, look at the size of some of these. Are they not beautiful? Wow. Um, lavender and green, and that's a green earring. And this one is pink. Ooh, and black and there's pink ones and black ones and purple ones these are awesome sweetheart they are so cool thank you so much that is so sweet I have to get my mind thinking now what I'm gonna do with them because they're awesome okay let's see this Yum, yum, yum. I have chocolate. Oh, look at how pretty. She has done some different cuts. This one says, love you. And then the sparkly die cuts down here. I wonder if she did them on her Cricut. And then, oh, look at all these. I love this bag. And that's actually a box. I can tell it's a box for me to make. Well, that's cool. Isn't that bag awesome? Oh, wait a minute. It's not the bag. It's what she cut out here. And I'm not going to take it out because I can tell I'll never get it back in. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it in there right now. And then she sent me all different kinds of clothespins. And look at this one with the red little roses. Can you see that? How cute. And on this side, we have little seed beads and little tiny little silver hearts and here's red glittered hearts pearls and bling bling and little felt hearts and there is string and I love that paper that clip and little clips and there's some um, back in here there are um, 
some doilies, some paper doilies, and there's another die cut over there. I'm not going to open it up, Sherry, because I've been dropping everything all over the floor. Love, love. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. Really, really was. Thank you. And these are incredible. Have you ever seen anything like these in your life? Wow! Okay, I um, saw something on HSN a couple weeks ago. And I fell in love with it. And so I, I bought one. And I have to find the die. Sorry. Never prepared. Golly. Day late, a dollar short. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yikes. I was trying to get organized with some of these sheets. Are you kidding me? It's going to be the very last one, I'm sure. I've got so many of these to make. Ah! Here it is, right here. Okay, I saw these on HSN, and they were like $40, $39.99, plus shipping, and I thought they were awesome. So I bought one for me, and I bought one for uh, Lisa. And the only reason I'm showing it now is because Lisa has hers. Otherwise, I wouldn't show it to you. And these are the dies right here. Oh, this is a Nellie's heart die that I found that I've been looking for for months and months and months. But this heart die, you have to sew with a needle and thread. It is the most bizarre, strange heart die. I can't do it. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway. These are the dies. You get two in a package, and this one is uh, a rose, and then this one is a butterfly. Now, what you do is take a piece of paper 12 inches long by um, five and a half inches, and this is what it does when it cuts out. This is all scrap paper, so please don't mind that nothing matches or anything. I was just trying to see how it worked, and that's how it works. Can you see how that did that? That's really cool. Like, this one was the first one I ever did, and you can see I ripped it. I don't know if I ripped it when I was doing it on the machine or when I was trying to put it together, because there's a knack to doing this, to putting it back together. And, as you can see, <laughs> I'm not good at it, but that's it. So then I did a second one, and this one did come out better, okay? And, and what they do, they suggest that you take and put a different color paper if you want to um, over here so that you can see the distinction between, you know, your rose, but this one came out much better, right? Okay, so that was, no, this was my third one, because this was, I just knocked something on the floor. This was my second one, and I just put pink paper behind it so that I can see what I did. And as you can see, I didn't rip this one. So this one came out cool. And then this was my third one, and I just haven't put any paper. That's the rose. Now, this one, okay. Very frustrated with this one. This is the butterfly. And I ran it through and I used um, fabric sheets. Um, you know how you put the fabric sheets and it's supposed to help take out the die cuts, blah, blah, blah. I used a couple, I used a lot. It didn't make any difference. I had quite a few of these that I did that I literally had to throw away. Now this side came out okay, as you can see. Mostly all the little things, there's still a couple of pieces that didn't um, come out. But this side here, they're just all, you know. And then it ripped here, and it ripped four times right here. So I'm really very discouraged. Um, for $40, to be honest with you, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I certainly don't think it's worth it. That was my first one, and then I did it again, and I even used more, um, I used the crease pad, you know, the little, whatever you call it, this, this thing here. Whoops. That you put in so that 
and then I used the fabric sheets underneath here and these just won't come out you can see they just will not come out now this one yeah this one actually a piece ripped off over here which actually was like something like this I just threw it away and as you can tell these are not they're just you can't even poke them through because they're not cut um, all the way anyway if they worked they would be phenomenal and they have another set also and the other set I can't remember one of the one of the uh, things is stacked cupcakes three cupcakes and I, I honestly don't remember what the other one that comes with the set but anyway HSN they're my little darlings I don't think I saved the package or I would show you what it was but I think after so many tries I just got so disgusted but again if it would work adorable the way they open and close so anyway that's it that's my story and I'm sticking to it I do like the rose better of course it doesn't have its intricate um, little holes as the butterfly does and if I if I remember correctly the cupcake does not have as many holes when I was watching it but you can either go to um, HSN and see them or you can go to HSN TV my little darlings and they're oh god I can't remember the name of them I wish I could remember the name of them for you but anyway they're something cuts or something oh here they are I'm lying here you go here they are there you go they are lock its okay lock its and again you get two look at this I hated this packaging it was terrible everything stuck to everything and then when you took the dies off your instructions ripped away and the tape is still there just not a thoughtful way to package items any way shape or form because look at that it's horrible this one too it just rips right off so that's it if you're interested I'm not happy with them and to me you know they weren't worth the money so but you be the judge maybe it's just me <laughs> you know I'm I'm not that good so that could certainly be it all right you know what I think I'm gonna find some tape and I why I didn't think of this before it's beyond me and put tape over it right ah, there you go okay guys remember please no biting no fighting share the love give a hug um, for those of you who don't know, we have had a lot of snow, and sadly we had over two inches of uh, water downstairs in one of the bedrooms, and the bad thing about it is it was water that was mixed from the canal, which was mixed with cow manure and cow urine. So when the snow melted and the canal breached, which is about 30 or 40 feet from our home, that water that came into that room downstairs is toxic and smells. We have a, we had a gorgeous, um, huge um, 15 by 20 Americana rug, which is completely ruined. Um, my husband's recliner is completely ruined. He had a blanket on it. The blanket, sadly, was touching the floor in a few places. So what happened is the water sucked up onto the blanket and all over the, the chair, even all the way up to the seat of the chair and one of the arms of the chair. And we've tried everything. We had a cleaning crew come in and everything, and they can't get the, the, sell, the smell out of it. It's shot ready to go in the dumpster so plus the fact that um, now they're gonna have to go in there and see what they have to do as far as where the water came in maybe the wallboard or something so anyway it's been pretty tragic and actually you know what we got away fairly easy our neighbors about four houses up we have a two-story house but the people up the road 
have a single story house with a basement and the water was in their basement two inches away from the ceiling of their basement so it was almost up to the first floor uh, they had just remodeled their garage into a room that was 100 percent flooded with uh, at least six to eight inches of water it's just a tragedy and the thing is is that unless you have flood insurance regular insurance does not cover rising water i used to sell insurance the only reason i know that so um this is going to be a total loss for them so if you could just um you know keep other people also all around in your prayers to, because a lot of people are suffering from floods due to the extreme snow and the melting of the snow so very, very quickly. All right, enough jib-jab and taking up your time. Thank you again for watching. I love you all. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be having a little giveaway soon. And I don't even have my little giveaway gift here or I would show it to you right now. So, okay, okay, remember. Pinkalicious hugs. Be well, everyone. Ciao, ciao, ciao.